converting an equation written in polar form to one written in rectangular form. Problem type 1. So, now that we have polar coordinates, we should be able to translate between the rectangular coordinates that you are accustomed to and this new polar coordinates thing. And we can. And the formulas we will use to do that translation are exactly the formulas that let us convert between magnitude and direction and component form of a vector. x is equal to r times the cosine of theta, y is equal to r times the sine of theta. Remember, r in polar coordinates is the magnitude of the vector. And then r is equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared, and theta is defined not on its own, but as the tangent of theta is equal to y over x. We don't define theta on its own because inverse tangent only gives you half of the possibilities, right? Positive y divided by positive x or negative y divided by negative x would be a first quadrant angle or a third quadrant angle, which are both positive cases. So we need a little bit more to think about. But with these formulas, we can take equations and turn them into equations in the other form. In this video, let's look at some equations written in polar form, and we'll look at some pretty simple equations written in polar form. For example, r is equal to 2. And I want to take this equation written in polar form and write it as an equation in rectangular form. In order to do that, I look for the easiest place to substitute in an r and get out x's and y's and no r's or thetas. And I think that's this guy over here. So I'll have 2 is equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared. And square both sides, because why not? 4 equals x squared plus y squared is a nice form of a circle that you are familiar with. Or as another example, if I have, say, theta equals 11 pi over 6. I want to look at the formulas I have, and I'm trying to think of a way to replace this theta or plug this theta into something and end up without any r's or thetas showing up in the result. I think the best way is to use this formula over here. So we get that the tangent of 11 pi over 6 is equal to y over x. And of course, we remember that um, right, reference angle here is pi over 6 which is um, root 3 over 3. 11 pi over 6 is in the fourth quadrant, and in the fourth quadrant, tangent gives out negative things. So we will have negative root 3 over 3 here is equal to y over x. And let's just rearrange this a little bit to uh, clean up. And we'll have negative root 3x is equal to 3y, and maybe I divide from here and get that um, x is actually just negative root 3y, but I'm out of space, so we'll leave it with that for now. 